Today, I am going to show you selenium and some reactions to different chemicals. First, let's see how it looks like. It was sold as black glass like nuggets, but it can also exist as this red powder which is an insulator or as a grey metallic powder, which conducts electricity. It is located in group 4, just like sulfur or oxygen, its properties are similar to those of sulfur. In the nature, it is found in minerals like nominate or metal selenides, but we can also find it as an element. Here, I am heating up a selenium nugget. It melts at 221 degrees Celsius and boils at 685 degrees Celsius. As you can see, it forms yellow vapor and melts as a black liquid which looks very satisfying. As a comparison you can here see the reaction of sulfur when heated, which turns to an orange liquid at 113 degrees Celsius. Just like sulfur, selenium can be oxidized to selenium dioxide or trioxide, but it is much more resistant to oxidation. With permanganate, it gets oxidized to selenium dioxide, which is a white solid that sublimates. It is water-soluble and forms selenic acid. With hydrogen peroxide, this can be oxidized to selenium acid, which has high oxidizing power and can ignite alcohols or even dissolve gold or platinum metal just like aqua regia. Selenium is an essential trace element and can for example be found in the amino acid selenocysteine, it also serves as a radical scavenger. In higher doses, selenium is extremely toxic and can lead to hair loss, heart failure, or diabetes. When selenium is missing in the body, it can even lead to death. Since cows do need more selenium than they can naturally find, they are often given sodium selenate or selenite. Industrially, selenium is also used in some kind of solar panels or red glass. Like sulfur, selenium can react with metals to form selenides. Here, I show you the reaction of selenium with iron, which forms iron selenide. In contact with acid, hydrogen selenide is formed, which is highly toxic and smells like horseradish, it's the most toxic selenium compound. Hmm, nice smell. Another thing that is very similar to sulfur is that selenium can be dissolved in sodium hydroxide solution to form soluble polyselenides, which are red colored. Here, I also want to show you a solution of polysulfides, which is yellow in color. One last thing I want to show you is the reaction of selenium and sulfur. They form a powder which consists of selenium sulfur rings. This compound is, for example, used against hair dandruffs. Unfortunately, you can't really see the selenium sulfide, since it is mixed with this sulfur stuff. Well, I hope I could show you some of the properties of selenium, which is an interesting, often forgotten element, most likely due to its toxicity and rarity. I hope you liked the video, keep doing chemistry.